Welcome back to Close Up on San Diego Business, where we're looking at homegrown businesses close up. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here on financialnewsandtalk.com with Andrea Kay and Al Arias. Our next guest, Tom Van Betten from Cassidy Turley. Welcome, Tom. Thank you. Great. So tell us a little bit about you and tell us uh, Cassidy Turley is a uh, new name in, in our community here. So tell us uh, a little background there on you and, and uh, Cassidy Turley. Yeah, quickly, I'll start with Cassidy Turley. It's interesting, in the first time in 50 years, there's been a new national rollout brand. Um, so Cassidy Turley is really an East Coast, Midwest-based uh, firm, but uh, we were become a, a, a corporate store uh, owned by Cassidy Turley just recently. So we were BRE for 25 years, owned by the brokers, and we sold up to corporate a few months ago, and we're excited to see the economies and the opportunities that it created. Um, we have, uh, as a company, 60 U.S. offices and uh, over 3,800 professionals. Wow. Um, myself, i um, been in the business about 22 years, was born and raised in Las Vegas, Nevada, um, where my uh, father was a, was a professor at UNLV and uh, uh, I say I escaped from Las Vegas about 13 <laughs> years ago. Uh, I had a great run there, and it was a lot of fun and learned a lot, but, uh, you know, really excited to raise my family here in San Diego. Yeah. What makes San Diego a different market than Vegas? Well, when I first got in the business in 91, I um, was selling a lot of land to developers, and they were building industrial buildings, and we were selling them and leasing them. Um, it was a very the, – the market basically doubled during the 90s in Las Vegas, so it was a very uh, – quickly maturing market and very exciting times. Um, when I moved to San Diego, I looked around and said, uh, there's no land out here. So I knew <laughs> I had to change my business right. model. Um, and that's when I uh, decided to get into uh, um, the leasing side of things and uh, decided to uh, represent some of the uh, um, larger office owners in town, including the Irvine Company, Kilroy Realty, Prudential, et cetera. Right. Um, from there, I uh, dabbled in investments and then uh, uh, sold about $300 million worth of uh, commercial real estate, um, institutional uh, office buildings. And then the recession came, and I knew that was going to be a bit of a, of a speed bump. So um, I committed all my time and resources into what I do now and have for the last five years, and that's tenant representation. So I help businesses. I represent businesses in their negotiations uh, against landlords. Okay. So you only represent the tenants? That's right. Okay. I, I say uh, when I uh, I had a lot of listings uh, for a while, and then when I committed to tenant representation, I say uh, you know I burned all my boats and I couldn't <laughs> you know so I am uh, committed to tenant representation and uh, and really been excited. It's been a, it's been a very uh, best part of my career so far. Great. So you do uh, mostly uh, office leasing and and sell, uh, uh, representing the. Uh, well, you're not representing the sellers. Tell us a little bit about about the leasing. What do you do? What makes you different than uh, everybody else? Because there's a lot of competition in town. Yeah, there's a lot of competition. I, I um, what makes me different, I think, is uh, I have a, a, a truly a holistic view of the business uh, because I've. Remember I mentioned I used to sell land to developers, and then I did industrial leasing, and then I did landlord leasing, and then I did investments. So when you're creating a, a negotiating strategy for on behalf of a business, um, and as, as you're, you're, you're determining how to uh, best uh, negotiate with that landlord, I pull from all these different experiences, um, understanding the landlord's financial position, their profile, how much debt do they have, what's their long-term goals. Um, I, because I used to work for them, I can almost reverse engineer uh, the more effective negotiating strategies versus a lot of my competition were just maybe uh, uh, were, were given a phone and a phone book and, and told to set up meetings. So you do a, you do a lot of research before you represent you meaning you you do a lot of background work on the properties that are that your tenants are looking to lease. Yeah, matter of fact, uh, and I might not do the research myself, but I get to benefit from, uh, you know, we're the largest firm in town, Cassidy Turley. So we have a capital markets team. We have a, the largest re research department in town Great. with seven people working there. So essentially I can pull from all this managed information uh, that our company supports and from there drive strategies and tactics uh, um, when representing these companies. Yeah, I think I read 
you don't seem like the kind of guy who's going to pat yourself on the back or toot your horn. So let me do it for you. I think I read that you were one of the top five commercial real estate guys in San Diego. I mean, that's amazing given the competition. I mean, what's the secret to your success? And we'll make sure none of your competitors are listening. (laughs) But tell Uh, us what the secret is to that. Yeah, and I'm not sure... uh, um, where that top five came from, but uh, I definitely like to be considered uh, one of the top. And I think um, that my secret is a, a passion for results. I mean, I really take it personal because I saw for, for several years of my career the advantage in negotiations that a landlord has because they're in the business of negotiating, I mean, on real estate. And all their people are in the business. And, and so the, bu- the businesses that are leasing space, maybe it approaches their agenda every five years or something. And they got to take on, it's a David and Goliath scenario. And so really to be able to help businesses passionately de- you know, negotiate for more favorable terms, which in- in really helps keep San Diego companies growing, keeps mm-hmm. them in San Diego, um, and, 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 and be more uh, uh, um, uh, profitable businesses. So I just take it, I guess I just take it personal, their success. Yeah. And that's good for everybody because you hit on a point that I think is very important for people to understand is that you're one of the people that keeps businesses here. And mm-hmm. that means keeps jobs here. And that means keeps right. revenue here for San Diego. That's right. Right. Yeah, it's too easy to have everybody pack up and move move out of town. We want to keep them here and keep the business flowing here. But Tom, what, what kind of concessions do you look yeah. for? Uh, free rents or extended rents or extra space or room? You know. Well, those are, it's a good question. There's a lot of buckets to pull from when you're negotiating, and sometimes concessions are the most important. So really understanding what a company's needs are is also a differentiator, I think, on how I approach the, the business. For instance, uh, if a company is really uh, needs to, to uh, from a cash flow perspective, really uh, benefit from concessions like free rent and things like that, then of course we'll, we'll leverage that and structure it accordingly. Many companies maybe have to straight line uh, their, their uh, uh, rent over the term of the lease. So they might not get as much of a, a benefit of free rent up front, but maybe they need flexibility. Maybe they are a hyper growth company. They need to be able to get out of a lease in three years. So it, really it's a, it, it's a good question because there's so many, there's probably a hundred ways that I can help a company save money or build flexibility. And it just depends which one is important to them. And that, and those percolate to the top through a needs analysis uh, you know, uh, uh, process. Yeah. That's great. You're listening to Close Up on San Diego Business here on KFSD AM 1450 and talk.com. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here with co-hosts Andrea Kay and Al Arias and our guest, Tom Van Betten. Um, Tom, we talked a little bit uh, before the show on uh, something that, that kind of touched my world, too. I do a lot of financial planning, retirement planning, et cetera. I see you know, uh, the, the terms in here that say that you do planning for clients. Tell, tell us a little bit about how, what a plan looks like when you're doing a, a tenant representation. Well, uh, you know, it's, it can mean a lot of things, but typically most companies should have a real estate plan or strategy. And maybe it's three years, five years, seven years, 10 years, depending on who, where that company at, is at in its, in its cycle. Um, um, for instance, I have a client uh, here in the neighborhood, Viasat, uh, which is one of the great you know, employers here in San Diego. You know, they have a 10-year uh, real estate plan, and they really try to line up building availabilities with headcount growth. Uh, I mean, what a concept, right? I mean, we need a building, and you need to understand the costs associated to filling that seat. So I think rarely are people proactive in developing what their real estate, commercial real estate plan should be as compared to reactive, you know, as a lease expiration approaches. Um, so we, we typically like to get out in front of that and give them plenty of time. I mean, one of the biggest mistakes p- companies make is not having enough time as their lease expiration approaches. And so mm-hmm. planning can mean a lot of different things, but in all cases, time is leverage. Mm-hmm. Well, time is everything. So that's that's great. Um, what else can you tell us uh, about uh, you and, and Cassidy Turley? Um, and- 
Yeah, I have a question. How do you know, or do you know, and do you do you guys have? You've got so many resources in this company. Do you have somebody who's scouting to see who might be interested in coming to San Diego, so that you try to woo them here and try to? How does that work? If because there's got to be a lot of people investigating San Diego and thinking about moving their business here. How do people capture the prospective San Diego businesses? Well, it's a it's a great question, and it's it's difficult from from our firm's perspective and me as an individual to have an impact that, that that essentially is a global reach, right? We could be pulling them from Korea or whatever. We're, I mean, we're looking for companies to come here. So what I've, but how it is important to me, and I've recognized that. So what I've done is volunteered to re, to lead the San Diego, San Diego uh, Economic Development Corporation's red carpet, red flag committee. So what we do is when their company is considering coming to town, we bring the business community together to roll out the red carpet and really help them understand what a day in the life is like working here in San Diego. Of course, leveraging on that quality of life aspect. Um, and then uh, the red flag, when a company's considering leaving town, you know, through the business community, we uh, identify that company and uh, then see if we can uh, you know, triage any, any problems they might be occurring. What kind of reasons are you seeing that people are thinking about leaving town? Well, uh, a, a lot of th- reasons. For instance, I mean, we recently saw American Specialty Health's moving back to Indiana. You know, a lot of things. It's labor costs, costs of housing, um, talent is 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 sometimes mentioned we're really trying to 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 leverage our our great universities here locally and 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 the curriculum of the universities need to kind of tie in with the next big cluster here in san diego and so that's also part of what our our committee does there at the edc that's great that's great um uh, well tell uh, tell our listeners how they can get a hold of you yeah, so it's Tom Van Betten. My direct line at uh, Cassidy Turley is 858-546-5488. Um, my email is tom.vanbetten at cassidyturley.com, and that's T-O-M dot V-A-N-B-E-T-T at cassidyturley.com. And uh, again, if, if anyone would like to speak for five or ten minutes about their situation on real estate, uh, I'm happy to offer advice and, and, and be a resource um, because just a few minutes in conversation might be able to save you a lot of money. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. So um, anyway, you are listening to Close Up on San Diego Business, uh, where we get up close and personal with homegrown San Diego businesses and the people that are working to make a difference in our community. Uh, thanks for being with us, Tom. This is uh, financialnewsandtalk.com. I'm your host, Barry Waxler. We'll be right back after the break with more.